Hey everybody, thanks for watching Science with Mike. I'm Mike, and today we're going to talk about density of gases. Why do some gases rise in air and others sink? It has to do with how heavy they are relative to air. And it's really just counting up the mass of the atoms involved. Air, roughly three quarters nitrogen, which is 28 atomic mass units. That's the mass of a proton. It's how heavy the atoms are. The other quarter is oxygen that we breathe and we need. That's 32 atomic mass units. So air is basically a 29 atomic mass units. What we're going to do next is talk about methane. Methane with a carbon that's 12, hydrogens are one each, 16 atomic mass units. That rises. And that's what's in natural gas. 95% of natural gas is methane. Then we've got propane. Propane with three carbons, 12 each, and eight, 44 atomic mass units. Propane sinks. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make bubbles and we're gonna watch them rise and sink. And I did get some comments that the last, last episode didn't have enough fire. So we're gonna fix that right now. No, no, now. Okay, we're doing science, always wearing our safety glasses. Ow, ow, hit my eye. Okay, now we're gonna make some bubbles of uh, natural gas. And what we're gonna do is we are going to light this burner and uh, we'll end up lighting that candle. This is nothing more than just bubble solution, Dawn Mega Bubbles, or just stuff you get in the store. Now you can't smell natural gas, but you can tell when you got a leak because uh, it's got sulfur compounds in it. And, uh, ooh, that one's going fast. Oh, okay, well, that, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna light this candle. Make another bubble this bad boy right there. You see it's going to rise. And of course there's your fire that everybody wanted. Let's see if I can get this one to stay together. Oy. I can feel the heat on my face. Okay, I'm going to try to get this bubble to stay intact. Da. Let's do it. On, on Science with Mike, we push our luck, which you should never do. Oh boy! It's kind of this, it's kind of scary fun, actually. You know. All right. Oh boy. Okay. Hey, we 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 better stop there. But next, we'll do propane. We've all seen just tanks of propane. By the way, it's liquid in there. That's why you can hear it, you know, swishing around. And now propane is even a little scarier because it sinks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'm gonna uh, make some propane bubbles. You know, I got a gas grill and the igniter switch broke. <laughs> just maybe just one more guys. So then I got a gas grill and the igniter switch broke on it because it stayed out in the rain you know and so now I light my grill uh, and, and I turn on the propane but propane sinks and so the way I light my grill is just to throw matches at it. So that's why propane's kind of scary because what it's going to do is it's going to go down and it can pool in things like your gas grill and then it's going to light and please don't. This might be our last one guys. This is scary to me. Okay, come on bubble. Just get it over with. Okay, that's enough.
Thanks for watching Science with Mike. And don't let cocaine collect anywhere. Thanks again. Sweaty. Bye. Take her easy. Science.